Welcome back to Dish Nation. I am joined by two comedic titans. Can I call you guys comedic titans? Sure. Sure, David's a right. titanic, but... <laughs> <laughs> First, I gotta say, is how is quarantine life treating you? Are you are you living like big the big stars that you are? Obviously, Nick looks horrible. He's had some problems in quarantine. <laughs> he shaved his head with a toenail clipper and he slipped off his couch earlier. <laughs> yeah, I don't play by rules, Andrew, in quarantine. I cut my own hair. I don't have a pool. I don't, I'm not like one of these Hollywood celebs that have like a roller coaster that takes them to the bathroom. I, you know, I just, I'm just chilling in my car. No, oh, but, but Spade, Spade's got the roller coaster that takes him to the bathroom. Yeah, he does, right to the toilet. He like, takes me over to Jennifer Hansen's house. <laughs> and I come back. Hey, where's Nick? Oh, we forgot him again. <laughs> I want to know who's doing it right, who's doing quarantine right, and who's doing it wrong in the world of celebrity. First of all, I didn't even know celebrities could get it. <laughs> when I have my mask on, they don't know who I am, so I'm treated like a normal person, which is horrible. But I don't they, recognize they, that hair. Your hair is iconic, like in this film. I know, I look like uh, Joe. Who do I look like? Hang on, I had a good look. You look like a roadie for a Bon Jovi cover band. That's <laughs> not what I was thinking. Uh, Bob Costas. Okay, Lauren, can we just first talk about how hilarious you are in this movie? Hey, I'd love to talk about that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I could not stop laughing, like some of the things that you do. I'm like, how do you keep a straight face? It was hard to keep a straight face with the people I was working with because everyone's so funny. I mean, Nick Swordson and David Spade alone are just two hilarious guys. Every single scene was was really a challenge for all of us to not break because I'm saying some of the craziest things anyone could possibly be saying. <laughs> um, okay, now I'm going to give you the power to quarantine with any male celebrity on the planet. Okay, my the, my first instinct is Donald Gleason. He's like my crush. I think he's like adorable and fun and a great actor and just so funny. And uh, I guess what we'll be doing is probably hanging out and watching TV because I'm married. Oh, well, okay, all right. Although maybe he's part of the marriage. Maybe you could bring him in, like in the film. That's true, that's true. Might, maybe there's a threesome in my future, who knows? <laughs> okay, Molly, obviously in this film, there's a level of someone being mistaken for someone else. So in your own life, have you ever personally benefited from someone thinking you were somebody else? Yes, someone, and I did actually did not correct them because I was a huge fan and I grew up with Princess Bride with Robin Wright. And they're like, oh my God. And I realized that the, you know, halfway through that they thought I was Robin Wright. And I just kept going with it. Yeah, you have embraced TikTok. I have been watching Molly Sims, your TikToks. So I want to know, what do you love about TikTok? What was your favorite one to shoot? The one that got me going, Andrew, was the one with the wine, where I'm pouring it in a thing. And literally, because my kids can never get out a full sentence, they always like, I, so my, yeah, mom, um, 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 yeah. Um, so listen, OK, mom, 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 mom. You know, and literally, like, I, I don't know, for some reason, it just, it, it just, it hit me. I, I, hey, there, we've all been there, Molly, trust me. I don't even have kids, I'm pouring wine like that, so it doesn't really matter, you know, come on. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Molly, so much. I thought the movie was so funny. Thank you.